By decree of the Kaiser, the Germania was henceforth ordered to hunt convoys in the Atlantic. Ernst was faced with a grim choice. Torpedo the Pocahontas and kill his friend, or disobey a superior's direct order and risk being put to death. He had chosen to save his friend, but knew it would only be a matter of time before he was ordered to kill again. Saint Manihold Hospital. Doctors and nurses alike tried in earnest to patch up swarms of broken bodies and wounded psyches. Anna, the Belgian nurse, battled every day against the war to save soldiers. Sometimes Anna could heal the soldiers' ailments and put them on the path to recovery. Other times, it was a matter of alleviating their pain and merely postponing the inevitable. On this day, a rare ray of hope pierced the gloom of the hospital grounds. Finally, with the arrival of new medical equipment, technological progress would be used to help the wounded of war instead of producing them. Surprised to see her dear friend again, Anna handled each of the wounded soldiers with care. She couldn't wait to speak with Freddy and catch up on old times. Bon. 
Va mieux. Oui. Dieu vous bénisse. Voilà.
reunited. Anna and Freddy both took solace in the bonds of friendship. Hearing the bombs fall, Anna knew they had struck the heart of a populated civilian area. Always quick to act, she drove off to help the wounded.
Zeppelin creep evil at the bomb factory. Freddy feared the worst for Anna. He hopped on his motorbike and raced to join her. <laughs> Freddy arrived just in time to see Anna emerging from the debris. She had once again put her life on the line to save others. December 27th, 1917. The Pocahontas arrived in Brest, France to a celebratory welcome. Unknown to the old 15th, the decision had already been made to use them only for combat service support. They were not to see battle. Desperate for soldiers to fight, the French pushed hard for the newly arrived 15th to join them on the battlefield. They were eventually successful. The old 15th would fight under the French banner and be renamed the 369th Infantry Regiment. The Americans were once again outfitted as soldiers should be, then paired up with a French counterpart. They would now all fight together.
La dog Tixi Blouf. Trixie to Pato. Ready? Yeah. For James and Freddie, the long-awaited reunion was a powerful reminder that neither time nor distance can erode the extraordinary bond of brotherhood. The general mood among the 369th Infantry was one of camaraderie and shared purpose. Anna joining them for a last meal before heading back to Vimy, was finding it particularly hard to say goodbye to Freddy. Thank you. 
But their renewed optimism was soon dashed. By nightfall, everyone in the 369th would be reminded of the perils this war had in store for them. Arriving in Vimy, Anna was now ready to begin her new assignment, training British medics. Meanwhile, George was developing photos taken during his reconnaissance missions. But tonight, the quiet peace of the dark room was broken by a barking Walt. Thank uh -huh. 
Sama klein.
As George headed back toward Allied lines, he snapped a photo of the massive movement of enemy troops and weapons. But he wasn't out of danger just yet. Seeing his German plane, Allied forces started opening fire. But he wasn't out of danger just yet. Seeing his German plane, Allied forces started opening fire. Upon landing, George was placed under arrest on suspicion of espionage. Fortunately, he was able to back up his story with proof. Spring 1918, with the Brest-Litovsk peace treaty signed, German fighting on the Eastern Front came to an end, freeing up troops for advancement to the Western Front. A series of offensives were launched, pushing the Allied lines to the breaking point. The last of these offensives was launched near saint -Menehuld. For James and the 369th, the long-awaited opportunity to prove themselves had finally come. Let's go!
Even though they had managed to hold the position, the 369th had paid a heavy price. Before leaving to care for the wounded, Anna made sure to give James and Freddy a long embrace, hoping this would not be their last. After a dreadful night fighting to stay alive, James and Freddy were blinded by the camera flash. Impressed by the troops' accomplishments, the American press gave them the nickname Harlem Hellfighters. Their brand of music was all the rage, earning them an invitation to perform in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> 